In this video, I want to take a look at a decision that was published there yesterday by the Workplace Relations Commission. It's to do with a lady who resigned her job in March or thereabouts with the commencement of the first COVID-19 pandemic situation. She resigned her job because she's an office worker and along with two of her colleagues, there's three of them working in the office apparently. They provide services for I think one of the universities in Ireland, they're a service provider. And in this particular situation, the lady in question had serious concerns about the arrangements in the workplace to deal with COVID-19 and to protect and keep safe employees and so forth. She had a particular concern because her husband is asthmatic and if either she or either of her two co-workers in the office were to contract COVID-19, it would be a very serious situation for her and her husband, who was asthmatic. She felt that she had no option but to resign her job because she had gone to the employer and asked to work from home. I don't think she wanted to work from home every day. I think the three employees, the other employees also incidentally had loved ones who had underlying health conditions. I think the three employees put forward reasonable proposals to the employer as to how they'd be able to operate a sort of a shift or rotation system. And this would involve one of them being in the office at a time and the other two working from home or something of that nature. But basically he would have taken the three of them out of the office in what they claimed to be a dangerous unhealthy situation and allowed one of them to be in the office and to work away and the other two to be working at home or from home and the work or the shift would be rotated so each person would come in on a shift or rotated basis. Now this seemed to be a reasonable proposal to deal with the fears and concerns that she and her colleagues had the employer, however, wasn't in agreement and insisted basically that the work had to be done from the office and they had to come in. The bottom line is the lady then felt that she had no choice but to leave her job and she left her job and brought a claim for constructive dismissal to the Workplace Relations Commission. Mr. Bainham, the adjudicator, found in her favour and found that she was indeed constructively dismissed by reason of the employer's repu repudiation of the contract. In other words, as far as the adjudicator was concerned, the employer had essentially held the contract to be at an end by reason of his failure to provide a safe place of work and to follow the guidelines in circumstances where the guidelines could have been followed here with the implementation of the employee's suggestion as for the rotating system of working and so forth. The adjudicator observed as well that the employer did not try or give the suggestion that they put forward at any sort of a trial and basically found in favour of the employee. Now the employee was awarded a relatively small amount of money, three and a half grand or thereabouts I understand. And that was because her losses had been kept to a minimum because she had succeeded in getting a new work, new job, relatively quickly. It is a salutary lesson for employers that, if at all possible, they do need to take the health guidelines and the COVID-19 guidelines very, very seriously. They do need to be very, very mindful of their observations or of their obligations, rather, under the Health, Safety and Welfare at Work Act and they do need to provide a safe place of work. I would caution, however, employees against thinking that this case, this decision, is authority for the proposition that an employee is entitled to work from home. That's not the case. And each of these cases will be dealt with and will be determined on its particular circumstances. In this particular situation, the employees had put forward a reasonable proposal which the employer was unwilling to trial and that perhaps was a factor in this because there may well have been a solution for the employer in ensuring and providing a safe place of work for the employees. However, there seemed to be a resistance to allowing employees work from home and there seemed to be an insistence that employees attend the workplace. 
it's an interesting case it's probably the first of quite a few cases that are going to arise out of the COVID-19 pandemic situation where employees have loved ones at home or perhaps the employees themselves have underlying conditions and have a particular fear of catching COVID-19 and have a particular fear of the consequences. Whether an employee is able to work from home or not is another factor but in this particular situation there were three office employees they did appear to demonstrate or at least persuade the adjudicator at the workplace relations commission that they could have done the work from home and that the system that they suggested would have worked the employer as i say wasn't prepared to uh, try it now as i say it's not a proposition an authority for the general proposition that an employee is entitled to work from home full stop because if that was the case then the uh, the government would not be considering legislation to uh, bring in legislation to provide for such a right or at least a right for an employee to, uh, to request to work from home. It's an interesting case though and employers will have to be very very mindful of doing their absolute best to uh, provide a safe place of work and if they have a request like this from an employee with a genuine fear and perhaps either an underlying condition or a loved one with an underlying condition the employer would do well to seriously consider it and seriously consider the consequences or they may be looking at a constructive dismissal case hope you find this video useful if you do would appreciate it give it the thumbs up down below thanks a lot